Let's chase five. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of two main parts. The first part is an update for you all talking about what's been going on with me the past couple months. The second is match predictions for the first home series of the Cold War CDL season, Atlanta Phases. Alright, but that's pretty much it for me. As always, I hope you guys enjoy. Prior to this last Monday, I had not streamed in over two months. My last stream before then was the day after Thanksgiving. Even in the days leading up to this stream, I was not live much. After this stream, I decided to take a brief break from content for my mental health. Mental health is important and I wanted to make sure I was in the right headspace before continuing to produce content. I did release some content on YouTube after beginning my break from streaming, but stopped that shortly afterwards as well. Last year was an extremely rough year for me. I saw lots of challenges in my life. I faced adversities within my friendships, my community, my personal motivations, and my family. It caused me a lot of mental strain and turmoil. I went on break initially because of some situations and challenges I had already faced, and then it seemed to continue to spiral more and more out of control for me. Things continued to plummet further and further downwards it felt like to me for a while. This is honestly really difficult for me to talk about, but I was in a lot of pain. I was in an extremely dark place. It was not good and not a place to be producing content in. I also saw some challenges in January of this year, but things are now finally starting to resolve. I feel a lot more at peace now and I am really happy to be back creating more content for you all. I feel much better now. I also got in a new chair, PS5, and an Elgato Stream Deck to help further upgrade and elevate my content. I finally feel like myself again. It's nice. I feel very refreshed as well, and I'm ready to be back. Alright, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief update on where I've been and why I haven't been uploading or live on Twitch at all. But that's it for part one of this video, on to part two. Alright guys, first match of the Atlanta Face home series this year, I've called 3-1 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Although I am an LA Thieves fan, I do not think they'll be taking this match unfortunately. They are still coming off a loss to Optic Chicago and are still looking to bounce back from that. Minnesota, on the other hand, has a very strong roster for the former FaZe and Subliners member. They also were able to beat Toronto during kickoff weekend, giving them some good early season momentum. Historically speaking, the members of LA Thieves have also come to form later on in the season. Multiple players on this team were on LA Optic last year, which was a team that was good later on. Kenny was also able to hit form later in the BL4 season, and he is on LA Thieves. But once again, I'm going to have to call this match 3-1 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. The second match here, I'm going to have to call 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empire is still coming off being the former champs, and they 3-0'd Subliners during the kickoff classic. Surge also took the L to LAG 3-2 during the kickoff classic, and are still looking to bounce back from that. I also do believe momentum from last season may play a role in this match. Empire was a phenomenal team, while Surge was a trash team. And because of these reasons, I will have to call this favor 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. The third match here, I will have to say 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. This is a phenomenal Optic team with some very big names on it. Scump, Dashy, Formal, and Envoy are all notable players. This Optic Chicago team also 3-0'd the Thieves during kickoff weekend. This team is also largely made up of former Chicago Huntsman players. Huntsman was a top tier team last year. Paris did beat London kickoff weekend, which is why I think they're good enough to take at least one map on Optic. But I will have to call this matchup 3-1 in favor of Optic Chicago. The next matchup, I will have to give 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. This is my big upset pick for the weekend. During kickoff weekend, LAG beat Surge while FaZe lost to Florida. This means the Gorillas will be coming in with better momentum than FaZe. The Gorillas also lost to FaZe 3-2 last year and will have fire from that. These are both some really strong teams and FaZe will make it an extremely close series and could easily win. The next matchup, I will have to call 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. The Gorillas are still coming off the momentum from beating FaZe and I feel it help them prevail to victory in this matchup as well. Paris also is still coming off of a loss. This is a strong Paris team as they beat London during kickoff weekend. I also have them taking a map off Optic Chicago, something that the Thieves were unable to do. I believe this will be a close series, one that could definitely go either way to be honest, but I will have to call it 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Gorillas. This next matchup, I have to call 3-1 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Mutineers beat FaZe kickoff weekend and been looking like a strong team thus far. Ultra lost to Rocker kickoff weekend, but were able to take two maps. I believe Florida looks like a stronger team than Rocker so far, which is why they only take one map. Florida was also a top tier team last season, and I'm confident they will be able to put this series away in under five maps. So I will have to call this matchup 3-1 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. The next matchup, I will have to call 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. Both teams are coming off losses, the Thieves off two and the Subliners off one. 
the subliners are also coming from getting swept by Empire. I believe the thieves already having two losses will make them more motivated and have more fire. This should help them prevail to victory in the series. I also feel that subliners may still be cold and not fully prepared as their first match of their weekend. Both teams have some great players. With names like Clay, Kenny, Slasher, Mac, and Tej, there's no way this series should be a 3-0, but I will have to call this series 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. The next series, I will have to give 3-2 in favor of the Seattle Surge. Surge, much like the Thieves, will be coming off two losses in a row going into this one. Also, like the Subliners, they will be coming off of a sweep. This will make them extremely fired up for the series. This is also London's first match of the weekend, meaning I think they may still be a little bit cold. Both teams were in 3-2 matches, kickoff weekend and loss, meaning it should be a very close, competitive series. But I'm going to have to give this one 3-2 in favor of the Seattle Surge. The next series, I'm going to have to give 3-1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empire so far this season has been playing great, and I think they will continue this strong showing. Rocker, however, I feel are good enough to take at least one map. I have them beating the Thieves in under five maps, and this is a team I think is pretty solid. Dallas, on the other hand, I do not have dropping a map yet all season. This means in this series, they will not need five maps to win. So this series, I will have to call 3-1 in favor of the Dallas Empire. And for the last game of the weekend here, I will have to call 3-2 in favor of Optic Chicago. This is what I would say is the most highly anticipated match of the entire weekend. These both are two insane teams and debatably the two most stacked rosters on paper. FaZe, however, has been on a losing streak. Because of this, I do not feel like they will be able to take down a team as great as Optic Chicago during such a slump. Optic is also coming off a win versus Paris and will continue that momentum. This will be a very close, intense series though, which is why I called it 3-2 in favor of Optic Chicago. And now for my personal CDL power rankings. At 12th, I would have to say the New York Subliners. At 11th, the Toronto Ultra. At 10th, the Seattle Surge. At 9th, LA Thieves. At 8th, LA Gorillas. At 7th, the London Royal Ravens. At 6th, the Paris Legion. At 5th, the Minnesota Rocker. At 4th, Atlanta Face. At 3th, the Florida Mutineers. At 2, Optic Chicago. And at number one, the rating champs, Dallas Empire. All right, guys, but well, that's pretty much it for the video today. I know there was a lot of parts to this video. These pickums are to serve in place of my CDL bracket predictions from last year under the new CDL format. I decided to add my personal power rankings at the end of the videos this year to further enhance the series. Other than that, I just wanted to update you guys on where I've been. But I'm back now and can't wait to continue to pump out more content for you guys again. But as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, make sure to let me know what your thoughts are about my new structure for this series and let me know if you like it. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.